Hi, this is Carla from Casey's One Stop Boutique in Sunnyside City, Utah. Last night we designed this wheel uh, on our private group, but we did a big old, uh, big, big, big wreath. And uh, today I'm going to do uh, just a small, whimsical one for my door. It was too fancy for me last night. So, uh, what, I, what I'm going to do is, and these are real fun to do, I just want to make it light and airy, and so we'll want it about, oh, I'd say 12 inches, 14 inches. I've already uh, prepared my ring so I don't have anything on the outside. I've drilled holes on the inside. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to sit, and I'm going to keep this sign on because I lo really love this sign. It's uh, just welcome to our home. So I'm going to set it aside. See, this is the bow I did last night, so that tells you how big, how big of a project that was. It was a great, great big uh, wreath arrangement, I mean. So what I want to do this time is make something light and airy and you could do these real simple. Can I do, gonna do this like a little swag? So I want uh, three or four on this bunch. I think we won't want as much on the bottom so we'll cut some of these down and I want some fern in the back you just kind of move that around however you want it to look this off. This is where you need a stem cutter. do a bouquet and put everything in that you like. I think I want some of this. I think I'll have a few little cherry blossoms in there too. Just kind of give it a layer look.
Maybe I just want a couple of them in there. Few of these cosmos in there. Just a few poking up here and there. I like that there. So what I'm going to do is just take the zip tie and tie this here. Let's just tie that together as tight as you can. Blossoms. Let's put a couple of them in. I love cherry blossoms. They make everything look so pretty. And we'll stick a couple. I call these a cosmo bush, but I think they look like baby uh, daisies or something. I'll just stick a couple in there. Always add into this when you're working with it. And just kind of give it a layered look.
You can do these in no time at all. Let me tell you, they're and they turn out real pretty. And once you get them together, just kind of move them around where you want them to be. Of course, we'll stick some glue on it. down a little bit. And you want to leave enough for a big fistful so you can uh, put your bow there. My fingers just aren't very strong. Then, after you get them both the top and the bottom, you'll want to put another couple zip ties on each end to secure them. I have it together like this and you'll be able to put more uh, greenery or whatever you want in there so you have a top and the bottom to go on your wheel or your wreath or whatever you want whatever you're doing We'll just set these aside because I want to add a few more after we get them on. Then you don't want that ugly stuff to be showing, so take you some floral tape and just wrap it. Make sure all your zip ties and 
or covered on the back. Let's see how much nicer that looks. You're not going to see that that one right there, but the back is what you'll put they'll see. Actually, they won't see anything because I drilled holes in my wheel and just kind of start spreading them out and twisting them to fit the wheel. Let's put them on the. Let's put this on the wheel. I've already made a, a hook for it right there out of this nice uh, rivet, this nice twisted wire. It's really pretty. We want to do a real thick zip tie. I'm sure, it's going to hold. Now just uh, spread your greenery and flowers out. Have it kind of follow the line of the wheel. You still have room to put your, to add florals into that. So let's do that and let's make a little bow. See how pretty that looks already? How nice and light and airy that looks. There's nothing in nature is perfectly straight. Have that on one edge. And I think I want about a twelve inch. So 
that's about 11 inch. I think I'm just going to make them all 11 inches because I might want to put some florals in there. Before you get it tied completely down, get it where you want your loops to be. Now remember, I have a, I've drilled a hole in, in the inside of the wheel, so I'm just going to put it right through there. trim the tails to whatever size we want. If 
either trim them or curl them. There you have it. I may, I may go in and add some more florals, but I don't know whether I will or not, or whether I'll need to or not, once I get them uh, tails cut. Thanks for watching today, and you can find me on Casey's the One Stop Boutique dot com is my website. Uh, Casey's the One Stop Boutique on Facebook, uh, the One Stop Boutique on YouTube. I'd love to have you. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and I can let you know when I'm going live and when we have fun things going on. Okay, thanks for watching. You have a nice day.